I'd like to see a red dot badge, but goes on to turn gold rather than red. <laughs> um, thank you um, for listening to me once again. It was really great um, sharing with you around the tables today. So just to sort of go over what I've said really. So you all sort of know who I am now, yeah? Um, so I'm a social entrepreneur. I run a social enterprise, which is a not-for-profit, which is basically enabling people to get to groups with destructive spending habits, an attention-grabbing name more than anything. Um, but I think it would probably be more called around the, the red dot money for the for the e-learning platform. As well as that, um, I'm, I'm an author of um, my book. I'm a trained coach, a woman who's overcome adversity and I'm really passionate about helping other people to get to the flip side of them, that financial capability forum. Um, I'm a fellow of the School for Social Entrepreneurs and I'm on their steering group. So, you know, I'm, I'm always, I, I have a thirst for, I never get complacent. The big problem that I, is the one that we forget we've got. Um, you know, and the big problem is all those pennies and pounds that are slipping from our possession with us not really realising that they are. And, and at the end of the day, the problems I'm sure that you have as house associations is the non-priority spending taking priority over the priority spending, which is your rent. So it's the, the, the solution to that, never mind the problem, but the solution to that is trying to engage people to want to prioritise their spending on those key things that are um, basic human needs such as your rent and your, your security up or just be a bit of a psychologist so people begin to prioritise living that is installed in habits where spending money on trash um, is becoming, you know, that's not going to go away because you just, it's on the TV, it's on the computer, it's when you take the kids always in your to send, you know, um, people with mental health issues, that means, I think mental health is a harsh word, but that, you know, if anyone's depressed or down or feeling blue or lonely or isolated, it doesn't take long to spend your time in ways that are going to cost you and maybe even your roof. As we all know, debt leads to despair, such as suicide, eviction, distress. I've been in it, you know, and it's not. So I'm sure, thinking of the problems, it's a big problem, isn't it? But I do think one key thing we're missing is thinking about where that money is going. Because although there's not a lot of money around, there's a hell of a lot of waste. So why is this especially important to residents on a low income? Well, we know those reasons because it's important they're rent paid and the walls stay away from the door and the roof stays over your head. But it's helping those residents to see, to get their values back, to get their, get their beliefs in them back, to get their aspirations back. And the programme I'm delivering is a motivational, and from a coaching and behaviour change perspective, helping people to find those treasures within themselves instead of outside in the society where um, they're never going to find it. So it's really building people's self-esteem, their confidence, and their aspirations and getting them to think about what they really want um, rather than our society being designed for, for them to decide what they want but getting people to decide what they want for themselves you know and some people have really been making it a bit from the old day state of Londoners I went through much adversity and that's why I'm standing here today because I wanted to, my life not for me, but I wanted to be a generation changer for my family. You know, and sometimes there's some real sort of the earth types in communities that you give them a chance and ask them what they want, they rock it. You know, there's some real little diamonds out there. Top housing providers, um, if money is managed better, well, that's a no-brainer, isn't it? You know, if money, money is managed better, wouldn't that be, a, you know, an ideal place to be? So, my programme obviously is about the red dot, it's about raising awareness, it's about coaching, attitude and behaviour change. So it's back to my analogy of the car again. Um, what I'm doing is complementing, not competing, but complementing with other sources of financial inclusion work that deal with the debt. So they, the financial inclusion work on the debt aspect deal with the financial crash, 
and I'm showing people how to drive themselves forward better, so we're gearing them up not to crash again and again. But unless you show the person to change, there isn't going to be any change. You know, the change comes from, from the thought patterns in those people's minds. So, you know, I think we've bred a dependable society and it's turned responsible society, but to make responsibility. So how different or better is it from other people? Different to make a difference, it's attention grabbing, it's helping people to get it whilst they're out in, 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 in society, just help them to get from the beginning to the end of the week um, less scathed and with more money left in their wallet and purse. So um, I don't I don't like the word positive, but I'll say instructive. I think we can. So um, that's what I like to think um, has a different edge of mine. I'm trying to build people up through using tangible products, through motivating them, and by using powerful metaphors that they, they get and understand. Um, with the virtual learning, it would be great when the program comes to life with that, because imagine a train the trainer program, for instance, that I'm sure a lot of you in here have done train the trainer programs where you go go away all fired up and infused and it's not long before life kicks in and you forget what you've learned and then you forget to deliver it. But imagine almost like a train the trainer program that has that virtual backup, you know, that is online. So it's not it's it's there. Um, so, so, you know, I think the, the, the additional support with the e-learning platform is going to be immense. Um, I've showed a lot of you the evidence of success, um, but, um, you know, I've got some great testimonial to promote, um, of um, First Wessex and Guinness Hermitage and Affinity Sutton. You know, they've been great advocates for my work, which is really appreciated. Um, I'm currently working at the moment with Guinness Hermitage as a financial inclusion coach and a social inclusion coach. I'm just about to pilot for Aster Communities up in Andover. Um, Buckinghamshire County Council have met with me. They're interested in potentially, I'm um, just to unite. Um, I don't work so much with Affinity Sutton nowadays, but you know, when the work comes up, um, you know, leave straight on the phone. So my work's beginning to have a snowball effect. Um, Women's Wisdom I've worked with. I'm currently delivering two workshops this week for Hampshire Savers. So it's definitely growing. Um, so what I spoke through the Digital Unite, it systemises it. You know, um, everything needs a system. You know, I need a system to run along. So what um, e-learning will do is make it systematic, um, a system that can be learnt and absorbed and hopefully become habitual. And that's it. Thank you for listening to me again. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, I'm pleased to answer them. Um, if you want any talks or, you know, um, just thank you for listening. It's been a great day, Cathy, and I can't believe how much, um, I'm sure Cathy and all their team behind the scenes have put into it, but uh, they put an immense amount of work in. So thank you very much for listening.